Konate has received his maximum upgrade for his road to the final card. I say Konate, Liverpool, I should say. I should give credit to Liverpool more so than Konate. But lads, I've used this card for over 183 games. Obviously, I packed him when he was an 85, used him for a little bit when he was an 86, and I just played my full weekend league. In fact, you can see my record. I'm actually on the wrong screen, coincidentally enough. But we managed to finish 18-2 this weekend, which is my best ever weekend league record and Kunate was my starting centre back alongside David Alaba for the full 20 games but what I did is I recorded a couple of the games just to showcase a little bit of what he can do um there might not be as much gameplay in this review as there usually is simply because I I know this card quite well I'm only gonna put in a few clips maybe just so you guys get a rough idea of how he performs but most of this video will probably be information that might be a little bit shorter than usual because I have used this Kunate card for over 183 games but having a quick look at him he is six foot four medium high work rates absolutely perfect 84 pace he's got 92 sprint speed with 74 acceleration which is a pace split usually i'm not a fan of pace splits but chuck a shadow on him he goes to 81 acceleration that is absolutely shocking mess from davis plays he goes to 82 acceleration 99 sprint speed as well his short passing of 87 for a center back i respect that quite a bit his dribbling of 85 reaction solid composure great defending stats very very nice physical stats 94 strength and obviously if you are using him on a new gen console he is lengthy Lads, let's get into some of the gameplay coming in at 250,000 coins is he worth it nate easy mate he gets that any day of the week he wins that oh good nate look at that Look at that strength and aggression. Go on, let's test this lengthy man in a running race. Yeah. You, you just can't catch up to him, bro. So heading on over to the pros and cons screen, as you can see on the left highlighted in green is the pros. We've gone for his height, six foot four, medium high work rate, absolutely perfect for a center back, 92 sprint speed and that 87 short passing. Having the 87 short passing for a center back, especially if you're on a new gen console and with how manual passing is this year, that is absolutely beautiful. Such a good stat to have. 88 interceptions with 91 stand tackle and 94 strength. Strength. And of course, if you are on new gen, he is indeed a lengthy. In fact, you're probably noticing there is no cons, and that is because there are literally no cons with this card. You could maybe raise your eyebrow at 70 stamina as a center back, that was not an issue whatsoever. You could maybe raise your eyebrow at 74 acceleration. As I said, it goes to 82. 82, yeah, 82 acceleration with a shadow and 99 sprint speed, which is more than enough. Along with that, he is obviously lengthy, right? Which does mean he just feels rapid anyway. You could have 60 pace, be lengthy, and be absolutely unreal on this game. Game one, he got a 7.1 rating with three interceptions and three out of six defensive duels won. We've gone for defensive duels as the main stat to look at because stand tackles is such a flawed stat to put under here. Because with stand tackles, if he makes a tackle, but you do not manually press tackle, B, circle, whatever you want. If you do not manually press it, it does not count as a tackle. So I think defensive duels is a more fair thing to go off of when you look back at the card. Game 2, 7.8 rating with 4 interceptions, and this time, a lot better duel win rate with 5 out of 6 duels won. Heading on over to the overall verdict, which is a newly added thing I have added when it comes to the play reviews, but just to add a little bit more spice to it, if you will. Do I think he's worth it? Yes, and if you do want to read into that, I said I think this card is a great value card at 250,000 coins and below. I would pair him up with a smaller, more agile center back like a Kunde, like a David Alaba to get the best defense balance. And for the rating out of 10, I've gone for a 9.75. And for me, it's a big green tick. If you guys did enjoy this review, if you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.